So, I've been gone for a while, and all I can say is, it's been a mess. Guys, I thought I knew depression. You know, I'm one of those people, you know, like when you just feel low and you just feel like, uh, you know, just up for it. You're like, oh, I'm depressed. I'm depressed. Ah, I didn't know depression. Now I know what depression is and I am not going to lie. It's not pretty. It's not. If I tell you, if I tell you. Matter of fact, let me tell you. Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Lynn Mash and I'm super happy to have you here today. Thank you so much for watching this video. So you know what? I think let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's run it back a little so that you can understand where I'm coming from. A little bit of a backstory. So around 2018, um, a family friend of ours, a family as in mine and my husband's, they immigrated to another country. So I was like, why are we staying here? You know, we could move elsewhere. Um, we were born here, we grew up here, now we have a family here. And why not just move elsewhere and experience life in another country? I'm not gonna lie, this was more my dream than my husband's. I'm grateful to have a husband who is willing to, you know, compromise and also accept and listen to what I want, like what my dreams are. I spoke to my husband and he was like, oh yeah, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. If this is really what you want, let's try it out and see how it goes. This whole immigration journey was super expensive so we had to start saving up we started saving up i think around 2019 uh every little change we got we were putting it into the immigration stash and around early this year i was like yeah this is it this is our year my guy let's try let's throw our cards in let's see what's gonna happen so uh, uh, nicely nicely we applied our plan for immigrating to this particular country was through the study route. I'll call it a particular country just to save a little bit of privacy. But I promise you, I promise you, it's not the UK. Not that there's anything wrong with the UK, but it was just a whole different country that we were planning to move to. We made our first application, hopeful, and I'm just thinking, well, we've got everything we need. Like, what could go wrong? Imagine, after three days, guys, we got a decision. It was a refusal. <sighs> I, was, I was just so confused. I was like, what? Like, how? This early? What's going on? Like, is there something wrong? What's going on? My G wasn't... He was like, ah, we've done this. So, like, you know, we've tried. It's not working. Let's move on to the next thing. I was like, no, 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 no. Let's, let's try again. Let's try again. You know, I'm one person. If I want to do something, I will keep pushing until I get it. That's just how I am. And it's so hard for me to let go of things. We tried a second time around. Mind you, all of these applications need money. You need to have money to be able to apply or reapply. And every time you apply, you're using more and more money. We applied the second time around. Uh, this time, our application took us, I think, about two months or, yeah almost two months and then we got a response and you know we're excited and everything we saw the email we're like yes this is it this is it open the email what do we get it's another refusal <sighs> you know when you really you know you, you're looking at the situation and you know like this is it but the person that i am would not let me just admit to this well, i can't call it failure but just to admit that it's not working out you know my husband was already out of it you could see that no he's not interested like he's been checked out a while ago <laughs> but you know us being women we have a way of maneuvering like just kind of sweet talking a person into getting what we want i was like my g if you're not gonna do this for you please just do this for me like i just need a third time like you know they always say third time is a charm let's try it let's see how it goes you know how they say sometimes being delulu is the solulu i was like i'm just gonna be delusional about this and just say you know what let's just try a third time 
we tried a third time around, more money. We applied. At this point, I could feel the tension in my marriage that, you know, my husband is not into this anymore, but really, he's just definitely compromising for me. Now, this is more for me than for him, which was unfair to him because it should never be like that. We applied, I was praying, ah, I was praying, I was praying, I was like, God. My husband is looking at this situation like, you know, I just wanna prove you wrong, that this is not gonna work and we are just spending money and we keep on wasting money on this, your dream. I prayed, I'm a very uh, religious person. In all that I do, I put God first. So what happened, uh, I was able to convinced my husband to try for the third time. At this point, I could feel the tension. At this point, I was diving in with blind faith. I was like, God, I am just going to dive in. Um, let your will for my life be done. But, you know, truthfully speaking, I think my prayer, I didn't mean it. Like, I was like, let your will be done. But really, the truth is I wanted my will to be done i wanted what i wanted to be done and guess what guys the third time around third time's the charm mm -mm, didn't work for me we got another refusal <laughs> this was uh in august early august my husband he didn't even like you know i thought he was gonna be like what did i say i told you see this is what's happening he wasn't like that I think he knew how much this meant for me and at that point he was really supportive and I am so grateful to have a partner that's able to support me in times where you know the going gets really tough because this is something that I really wanted you know I'd made plans for this I was like this is how it's gonna go we're gonna go away for five years we're gonna come back uh, we're gonna build our house whilst we're there I had so many plans for this and it didn't work out guys. There comes a point where you just know to let go. Like you just know I need to let go to let other things happen and to let other things uh, reach me. Because I think there are some times where we block off our minds because of what it is that we want and we ignore everything else that's happening around us. And I feel like I had become that person. We have a whole project back here. We haven't finished building our house. We're hoping to invest in a business and other things. And we had put all of that on the side for a whole year. So I think at that point, I needed to just come to terms with the fact that we need to move on. And guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, that is the hardest thing. Letting go is the hardest thing. Just being like, okay, no. We're just gonna leave it. We're gonna move on. Ah, it's easier said than done. So that's a little backstory, guys, of where I have been. I feel like this whole immigration journey for us has taken away a lot, you know, like time, uh, money, space in your mind and everything else. And I wasn't in the right space of mind to be able to create or to come here and sit and talk to you guys. But in all that happens in life, we have to learn from things. And I believe that I have learned a lot from this whole journey. I will make myself comfortable where I am. I want to grow where I'm planted. This is where I am. And I have to make this place home. I have to make this place worthwhile. And I have to make this place a place where I'm happy to be. I think at a certain point, I was starting to question myself. Like, do I really want to move away or do I just want change? Because I think as an adult, sometimes, you know, life goes on in a monotonous way where uh, maybe you wake up every day, you go to work, you come back home, your mom, your wife, and that's it. For me, I'm on a path to self-discovery to really get to see if I needed to change my environment or if I needed to change me. I have rumbled a lot, guys. It's been a lot of rambling on this video. It's just a lot of emotions, a lot of different things. But if you guys have watched this far, thank you so much. Please do subscribe. Please do like and do comment. Have you ever experienced anything like that in your life where you've had to let go of something that you really wanted? You really, really wanted it. But at a certain point, you just had to let go. One last thing before I finish off. Whilst I was going through this, I did start reflecting and thinking there are people that are moving um, to greener pastures 
and there's some people who can't afford to move or who don't even want to move because they love home and they want to stay home but the main reason people would be moving is maybe to go and get a better job better life for their kids I have been opportune to be able to make money from home um, if you have been on this channel from the very start in my introduction video I do mention that I work from home as an ESL teacher and you know I've never been the one to gatekeep so I think at a certain point I was just thinking I really want to come here and help people who cannot move or who do not want to move to be able to have that choice to be able to be financially free have this financial freedom and if you are one of those people then you will want to subscribe and stay because in the next coming videos i will be releasing a series of how to make money from home how i make money from home and how you can do it if you are interested so I hope you guys do subscribe and I hope you do stay. Thank you so much for watching me till the very end and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.